The best way to secure our networks is for operators to stop using new affected Huawei equipment to build the UK's future 5G networks. So to be clear, from the end of this year, telecoms operators must not buy any 5G equipment from Huawei. And once the telecom security bill is passed, it will be illegal for them to do so. Our ambition right from the very beginning was that no one should need to use a high-risk vendor for 5G at all. But I know that honourable members have sought a commitment from the government to remove Huawei equipment from our 5G network altogether. This is why we have concluded that it is necessary and indeed prudent to commit to a timetable for the removal of Huawei equipment from our 5G network by 2027. Let me be clear. This requirement will be set out in law by the Telecom Security Bill. By the time of the next election, we will have implemented in law an irreversible path for the complete removal of Huawei equipment from our 5G networks. Mr Speaker, we have not taken this decision lightly, and I must be frank about the decision's consequences for every constituency in this country. This will delay our rollout of 5G. Our decisions in January had already set back that rollout by a year and cost up to a billion pounds. Today's decision to ban the procurement of new Huawei 5G equipment from the end of this year will delay rollout by a further year and will add up to half a billion pounds to costs. Requiring operators, in addition, to remove Huawei equipment from their 5G networks by 2027 will add hundreds of millions of pounds further to the cost and further delay rollout. This means a cumulative delay to 5G rollout of two to three years and costs of up to £2 billion. This will have real consequences for the connections on which all our constituents rely. And I have to say that to go faster and further beyond a 2027 target would add considerable and indeed unnecessary further costs and delays.